I am Angelina, and today I am here with Haley on a &H News. We are looking into one of the best jazz musicians around, and we are also going to take a look in the Jim Crow laws. In our first story, Edward Ellington, also known as Duke Ellington, was born April 29, 1899 in Washington, D.C., and he died May 24, 1974. Duke Ellington had a major influence on jazz music, and he invented a genre known as American music. Duke Ellington's most famous song was Take the A Train, which was about a subway line in New York City. Duke Ellington also created the jungle sound in jazz by hiring unique musicians like Barbara Miley, who used a wah wah mute, and Tricky Sam Manton, who played muted growl sounds on the trombone. Now back to Haley with the Jim Crow laws. The Jim Crow laws originally referred to African Americans. Jim Crow laws were used by the southern states beginning in the late 1870s and early 1880s. The Jim Crow laws limited African Americans to use public facilities, schools, the right to vote, and to find decent employment. Jim Crow laws in various states required segregation of races, such as common areas like restaurants and theaters. Public education has essentially been segregated since its establishment, the most of the South after the Civil War. This body of law institutionalized a number of economic and social disadvantage. Constitutions mandated the segregation of public schools, places, and public transportation, also drinking fountains for whites and African Americans. The U.S. military has already segregated. President Woodrow Wilson, a, South a Southerner, initiated segregation of federal workplaces at the request of the Southern Cabinet members in 1913. Jim Crow laws were made legal with the passage of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Voting Rights Act in 1965.